Today's video, among others, will look at the leading cause of low oil pressure, which is carbon composite. The thesis related how to solve that issue, prevent it, and what to pay attention to while performing repair. When engine oil is hot, the carbon composite gets softer, turns into liquid and part of it may flow through the filter called a strainer, located in the oil sump. When engine cools down, the carbon composite turns into solid form and clogs other smaller channels of the lubrication system. For inspection, we need to remove all the injectors and valve cover. Here is an example of the injector washer leak and carbon buildup. It gathers around the injector bore, rocker arms, valve springs and valve cover and then flows with oil to the oil sump which in turn clogs the oil strainer, causing insufficient lubrication. Always flush the engine after repair with a bottle of an additive called engine flush. It eliminates possible clogging and remaining contamination in the smallest passages of the lubrication system. Here is what to look at when performing repair. Inspect the pipe supplying oil to both camshafts by flushing it with a brake cleaner and checking for free flow. Perform a thorough cleaning of the upper part of the head engine. In case of severe carbon buildup, meaning the vehicle was driven for a long time with fault, inspect camshaft journals and caps for excessive wear. Clogging may appear inside the first camshaft cup. Here is the camshaft cup number one and its oil passage. The remaining two are removed for inspection, both cups and journals for damages or excessive wear. Possible DTCs are P055F and P06D. And here you need to know that those codes can be related to something other than carbon composite. Now we move to the bottom part of the engine. Here I contain the whole replacement procedure of the oil strainer. Set two dots of oil pump driven sprocket to the bottom, turning by the crankshaft and mark the oil pump chain, use dots as a reference point. Loosen and remove the screw for the sprocket. All tightening torques in the description. You will need a special tool and here is the part number. You can separate the sprocket from the balancer unit at this stage. Remove oil pipe fastened with three bolts, then two bolts for oil pump. Four bolts for balancer unit as last and remove the unit. The oil pump is fastened with three bolts, separated from the balancer unit. Be careful not to damage balancer unit shaft. Now you have access to the oil strainer. The gaskets and parts you need for this job are an oil strainer delivered with a gasket, two O-rings for the balancer unit and the gasket for the oil pipe. Reassemble the balancer unit and tighten all bolts. To replace oil pump sprocket, use a long screwdriver and press it against the oil pump chain to compress the tensioner. Pull down the sprocket and place it onto locating pin of the balancer shaft. This vehicle 2015 model year came with an engine warning light and DTC related to oil pressure at mileage 140,000 km. The first models and before modification of injector tightening torque 
were at about 80,000 kilometers, sometimes less. I am noticing a certain pattern here. This failure appears at around 140,000 kilometers. Of course, mileage can vary depending on the driving conditions. Mazda has introduced modified injector washers, silver in color, with increased durability. Here is a set of copper gaskets replaced at 160,000 km and as you can see they were just about to be leaking. Here is the part number of modified silver gaskets. I recommend replacing injector washers between 100 and 120,000 km for vehicles with modified tightening torque to prevent oil pressure problems. The replacement cost is incomparably lower than the cost of such repair and the labor time should be longer than one and a half hours.